Tyson Fury, Mr. Don Fury, as he calls himself these days, Mr. Don Fury. Have you seen him? He's in shape now. He's in fighting shape. As, as you can see, uh, the picture I put on the uh, on the video here. Uh, yeah, don't mind the speedos, but the dude's back in shape. Uh, he's clearly back in shape now. I remember when uh, you know Joseph Parker fought. Uh, his cousin, Hughie Fury, back in September, I believe, he defended his belt against him, his WBO strap, right? And I remember <laughs> Tyson Fury was attendance in that fight, and I remember he got in the ring, and I remember after he got in the ring, like, after the fight happened, and, you know, the, a video surfaced online, and it showed, like, Tyson Fury and uh, Joseph Parker you know, basically like celebrating, like doing some dance and Tyson Fury had his shirt off. And I remember I was in my original channel back then and I remember I was disgusted. I was disgusted because I think at that point that was like the most out of shape I've ever seen Tyson Fury. Like he looked absolutely horrible. You know, he was he had a massive gut. He looked like I, I think I called him a beluga whale <laughs> you know i called him something because when i saw him because you know he was he was like dancing there with uh joseph parker and he had his shirt off and he just looked he looked like it like a whale okay he looked extremely out of shape it was nasty dude had a massive gut hanging from his belly dude looked like he worked in a post office he didn't look like a professional fighter it was just absolutely horrible and i remember i made a video saying that tyson fury you know i think i said something like tyson fury is should be disgusted with himself, you know, he, l look at his condition, I said something, I said something very, uh, demeaning towards Tyson Fury, you know, you guys know me, I've been making mean shit when it comes to, when I see fighters in certain conditions, or doing shit, you know, but, you know, that was, it's, it's May, so that was eight months ago, and as you can see, Tyson Fury has lost a whole lot of weight, and these past eight months, clearly he's been really, um, serious you know i think i made a video saying i don't think he's serious because he was always like backing out but these eight months he's really shedded a lot of weight i you know he was probably like 350 pounds you know what i'm saying he was probably 350 pounds at least you know at least when joseph parker defended his belt against uh hugie fury because that was like i think that was him at his worst you know when he was basically at his fattest you know he just looked horrible you know condition wise you know physique wise um but yeah, these past eight months, he you know he looks like the same Tyson Fury that fought Vladimir Klitschko. He looks like the same Tyson Fury that fought Christian Hammer, and he looks like the same Tyson Fury that beat Derek Chisora. He looks in shape. You know, Tyson Fury has never had a six pack. You know, you've never seen Tyson Fury. You know, shredded. You know, it's, it, I guess it's genetics. It's, you know, some people they could lose a lot of weight. And they'll have a six pack, right? You know, they look shredded. When you look at Tyson Fury, you know, he knows he doesn't really have he doesn't have a six pack, but you know when Tyson Fury is in shape. And right now he's in shape. Um, that's just his physique, how he looks. Right now he's in shape. Um, so he's probably lost over hundred pounds. Or at least eighty pounds. But you know, I'm glad that Tyson Fury is in shape because and I'm glad that he posted this photo because now I finally I know like he could he has a fight coming up in June 9th, but you know, you're always skeptical, you know, you're always skeptical as a boxing fan, but now, I'm glad he posted this photo up, because it just shows me, it lets me know at least that he's, he's in shape, and he was actually serious, so he will in fact be coming back on June 9th, um, and, uh, you know, my whole thing with Tyson Fury is, I hope that Tyson Fury is still the same, because I really don't want Tyson Fury to be a, sh a different fighter, a shot fighter, because if he's a shot fighter, the guy who ends up beating him won't get the credit, you know, he won't get the credit, let's say he goes in here, and he's not the same, his timing is off, and he, he just doesn't look like the same Tyson Fury that we all know, you know, that me and you have been watching for years, right, like say his timing is off, he doesn't look, because we know how Tyson Fury fights, you know, we know how he fights. He's a he fights like a slick fighter. You know, some people compare him to Floyd Mayweather Jr., the heavyweight version of Mayweather. I've heard some people say that. I'm not saying that, but I've heard some people say that. But we know how he is, right? Uh, we know the type of fighter, he, the type of way he fights. He uses his legs. He's a defensive fighter. You know, he hits, he doesn't get hit. That's you know, he uses his size to his advantage, right? His the fact that he's six nine, the fact that he has an eighty five inch reach, he uses all that for his advantage. 
to give his opponents trouble. Um, but let's say we see him against in, in, in a fight, you know, when he comes back June 9th. And let's say he just doesn't look the same. Let's say he wins, but he looks sloppy. Let's say you see him getting hit a lot. Let's say, you know, he looks, you know, he his timing is off. You know, I hope that's not the case because I'm telling you right now, if that's the case, the guy who ends up beating him, whether it's Deontay Wilder, whether it's, you know, Anthony Joshua, the guy who ends up beating him, no one's going to give uh, that guy credit. You know why? Especially Tyson Fury fans. You know why? Because they're just going to say this. They're going to say this. Tyson Fury was past it. Tyson Fury, you know, wasn't the same. Anthony Joshua only beat Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury was coming off a four-year layoff. And, you know, he fought a, you know, he just wasn't the same. Um... They're going to say the same thing to uh, Wilder. If Wilder beat him, oh, he beat it past this prime fury. I'm not going to give him credit. That's what they're going to do. You know why I know that? Because I know how boxing fans work. When Muhammad Ali came back from exile in 1971, Muhammad Ali won, was the champion. Right? He won the belt, his heavyweight crown, uh, against Sonny Liston in 1964. Right? For three years, he defended that belt. Then, he refused to go to the Vietnam War, they stripped him of his belt, they banned him from boxing. Muhammad Ali didn't fight for three years, right? During those three years, uh, you know, boxing, the heavyweight division continued on. Look what happened. Uh, Joe, smoking Joe Frazier won the belt. Everyone was saying Tyson Fury, I mean, excuse me, uh, excuse me my bad. Everyone is still saying Muhammad Ali is the true champion. Muhammad Ali comes, makes a, comes back in 1970, three years after his last uh, fight, right? And he comes back, he beats a couple of dudes, and then in the year 1971, he fights um, uh, Smoking Joe Frazier. Smoking Joe Frazier beats him. He really beats up Ali in that fight. And that's the first guy who ever beat him. To this day, you see boxing fans saying that he Joe Frazier beat a past it Ali. Like, they don't give Joe Frazier the credit that Joe Frazier deserves. Joe Frazier beat a 29-year-old Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was only 29 years old. He was in the prime of his life. But you still you see a lot of Muhammad Ali fanboys saying that, well, Joe Frazier, you know, he didn't beat the 1960 version of Muhammad Ali. He didn't beat the 1960s version of Muhammad Ali. As if Joe Frazier would have lost to the 1960s version of Muhammad Ali. So basically what they're saying is, well, that's like, that, literally, if you, if you look at when people are talking about the Joe, the first Joe Frazier versus Muhammad Ali fight, all you see is people saying that. Oh, Joe Frazier didn't beat the 1960s version of Muhammad Ali. He be, so basically what they're saying is they're saying he beat a Muhammad Ali that was coming off a three-year layoff, and you know he just wasn't the same. He wasn't the same, but that's not the case, you know, because he was still young and he was still in his prime. But you see how they don't give him credit. It's kind of like with uh, Mike Tyson in the year. 1986, Mike Tyson won, became a champion. Right? He became the undisputed champion of the world. He was considered the baddest man in the planet during the late 80s, right? In 1990, no, in 1988, um, my, excuse me, Mike Tyson fires Kevin Rooney, his original trainer. Then he goes on to fight guys like, you know, I, I believe uh, Michael Tubbs, I believe his name is something Tubbs. Um, of course, Frank Bruno, and then in the year 1990, he fights a journeyman slash gatekeeper named Buster Douglas. Buster Douglas beats the living crap out of Mike Tyson. Um, he beats him fair and square. He just beats the crap out of him. He becomes the first person to beat Mike Tyson. To this day, nobody wants to give Buster Douglas credit. They don't want to give him credit. If you look at anyone who talks about Buster Douglas versus Mike Tyson, I, I, this is not even a joke, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not kidding, literally all you see is people saying this, the only reason Buster Douglas beat Mike Tyson was because Mike Tyson wasn't the same because he fired Kevin Rooney and um, he was influenced by Don King and he was with that woman, I forgot her name, you know, that woman who was using him for his money and that's the only reason he lost to uh, Buster Douglas in the year 1990. So basically what they're saying is if it was the year 1989, a year earlier, Buster Douglas would have still would have lost to Mike Tyson. Like, dude, Mike Tyson was 20. Like, there are literally people. This isn't even a joke. There are literally people who who try to tell you that Bust, Mike Tyson wasn't the same by the time he fought my, uh, Buster Douglas. Bitch, Mike Tyson was 23 years old. Are you kidding me? 
You are in the prime of your life when you're 23 years old. You're in the prime of your life when you're that age. 23 is young as fuck. And people have the nerve to say that Buster Douglas be a past his prime Mike Tyson. Bitch, you're fucking delusional. If this fight, if Buster Douglas would have fought Mike Tyson in the year 1988, he still would have beaten him. Because that's how you beat Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was a bully. He bullied the bully. Okay? He fought him on the inside and bullied him. That's how you, everybody who's ever beaten Mike Tyson always bullied the bully. You know, but like I said, this is why, this is the only thing that concerns me with Tyson Fury. Let's get back to Tyson Fury. That was That's what concerns me with Tyson Fury. Is... When fighters are inactive, what you know, or something happens with their trainers or whatever, the minute they lose, people, the guy who beats them, they don't get no credit. And that's what I'm telling you. If Tyson Fury doesn't look the same, when he if he loses, if he ends up losing losing in his career, a lot of people, and you know, I'm telling you right now, a lot of people will be saying, you know, will say will say that. Joshua or Wilder or whoever beats him only beat him because he was he had he wasn't the same he hadn't fought in three years you know and that's the only thing that uh you know is is annoying when it comes to boxing is when these fighters you know take these years layoffs and the people don't want to give them credit you know whoever beats Tyson Fury should get credit because Tyson Fury is a talent a heavyweight he is you know I personally think that Tyson Fury um could give a lot, you know, I think Tyson Fury, if he's still Tyson Fury, I think he could beat guys like Dillian White, okay, I think he could beat Joseph Parker, yeah, and I think he'll give Anthony Joshua hell, um, I'm telling you right now, so, uh, and Deontay Wilder too, I think he could beat any of these guys, especially if he's on his A game, but you know how a box of fans are, um, they don't want to give a guy credit if this or that or this or that or this guy's inactive, but yeah, guys, it's a lot to say, and, uh, yeah, Tyson Fury is back, man. The Don, man, he back. And yeah, subscribe. And uh, 